going to have to uh, project as a, using this as our tracing image. 3D launched. Uh, we go for ten of my photos. Okay, for limit we to insert our tracing image we to move so we are going to use the text for tracing image we open so now I'm going to use the text we are going to use the text to read it and we begin to trace so I'm going to trace this out we're going to trace some parts of it leaving the board but Our dinosaur, it's 10 inch for TTC. I'm going to reduce the size, the thickness. Okay, this way. Let me reduce a bit. Okay, and 10 is. Okay, then I'll place aside and change the color to black. Black. Okay. Then now I'm going to trace out <coughs> the, the hand leg. The hind leg. So my doodle to sharp edge selected. I'm going to trace it carefully. My starting point. Sorry, sorry. I don't need a sharp tool. I want it to have hips in the eye of the animal. So I'm going to use the soft edge to make that path. If you look of the the dinosaur leg. The tie function. You trace it carefully. So I kind of like it. I'll move it aside. Change the color to black. And it's already um and this puffy. I don't know how to how to call it. So let's work on the um. So with the puff to select the can you try the um hand of the dinosaur. Do that carefully. It has a pointed, um, what's the name? Elbow. Don't worry, you don't need to be perfect in tracing, but you try your best to just make it look nice. Okay, so I like it. 
this way. We'll change the color to black. Okay, so now we need our puppy. Okay, I wouldn't do it now. So I'm going to turn off my canvas. I don't need this. And it's turn up my canvas. Okay, I'll bring it here. Bring this somewhere here. And change the color so that I'll see the difference. Able to make corrections. Okay, so it's kind of behind the dinosaur's body, so I'll bring it in the front. Okay. Now I'll take the hand, the arm of the dinosaur, it's also behind the body, bring it in front. Okay, babe. I'll change the color to ash. Okay, I'll take it back a bit. I'll rotate it. Yeah. Rotate it this way. Okay, I think it's quite okay. No, it's too straight. Okay. And it's okay. Then group it to select all. Okay, there's another way you can click on this, hold and shift key, click on the body, and still holding the shift key, click on the hind leg. So, using the shift key, you can multi select. If you are not able to use the shift key, there's an option here. Just click on what you want. You click here, we have multi select. Okay, so select it and just click on which one you want to select. Yes, and that's it. That's a function of multi select. Also, we have select all to click here, select all, and all your objects are selected. Okay, so this a dinosaur. Okay, let me turn as well. So now let's try to make that bulging or puffy. Should it should I call it a comb for it? So we go to our comp 3D shapes, click on the cube, click on our powerful. Um, or soft edge to do too. Then just continuously draw in a shape that you want. If you're able to make it look like the comb of a fall, it would be great. Uh, just trying our hands on it. Okay. We're afraid to transform. Let's transform. Let's see its position. Okay. Uh, let's select all. Rotate it and see the other side of okay. I think I like its position, but uh, I wanted to cover the body, so I'll click on it, drag it a bit, drag the other side a bit. Okay, I kind of like this. Rotate it and see how it looks. No, it's not covering the other body. Okay, I'm going to rotate, bring it down a bit, okay, bring it down a bit. It. So let's all go along. Yes, and I like it this way. Okay, like it this way. Okay, so now I'm going to group it all selected. Group it. And there's my dinosaur. Now I want to give it a stand so they're able to support, get a support so it can stand on its own. So with a cube selected. You can choose any shape here, but I'm going to use the hemisphere. Left click, drag. Okay. Like it. Now move it. Now position it well. Let me see whether it's at the center. Bring it. Okay. I'll take it back a bit. Well, let me take quite a bit using the right out key. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to. I don't think we need an eye for it. Uh, we can give it an eye, but for now we want to um, duplicate it so that we have it on the other side. So I'm going to ungroup this. I'm going to ungroup it. Ungroup. Ungroup. Select this, like, then. Um, Control V, that's to copy. Control C to paste. Okay, I'm going to push it to the other side. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay. I'm 
Let's see what else. Okay, so we have it on the other side. Okay. So now let's do same to the hand. Okay. Control C, Control V. Instead, and push it. And okay. Let's highlight all. Let's. Sorry. Let's rotate and see what happened. So it actually didn't go. Okay. So let's look at the position where it is. Okay. I'm going to going to let's see. Let me undo. 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 Let's see what happened. Oh, sorry. Okay. So I'm holding the shift key or move it in position. Or let me click on it, push it back. Now the ten, the first arm, holding shift. Okay, the same line. Okay. Now let's rotate it and see the other side of our dinosaur. Okay, kind of like it this way. Okay, you can see it's still not sticking to the body. Okay, so we're going to move it back. So, using the left arrow key, push it back into it. Body. Okay, I'm going to rotate it this way. Then I'm going to push it back. So, okay, let's move this back a bit. Wait, wait. Okay, select all. Rotate. Let's see how the dinosaur looks like. Okay, so this all work. Now let's group all. Group. So it's up to you to either use your brush, you can use your marker or your spray brush, sorry, spray can to color it. It's a nice color of your choosing. Nice color of your choosing. You want to use color? So I can do. You can use. Um, you can use stickers. So let's use a sticker and see how it will look. Stickers. Hold up. Add stickers. Any of these. So we choose this. If you have any interesting picture, you can Google online or I might upload these resources for us to use in our project. So click OK. Okay, we're going to design. I'm going to give it a new look. Okay, so duplicate it. Move it. Duplicate. Move it. Okay, let's work on the tab. Duplicate. Work on the tail and stretch it. Okay. Duplicate. And work on the other arm. This arm. Okay. I'm going to rotate it. Rotate. Rotate. V2. Now do the same for the other part of the body. Okay. I'll make it this way. Um, okay, so let's try using the brush to for uh, the spray pan to just do some um, coloring. Okay, let's try to color the body.
this our final project. Let's look at how it looks. Very beautiful. Like computer and table, give it to a friend. Uh, possibly you can take this out. Let's add this um, hook like um, model there. So you can hook it to your key. So this is our model. Very beautiful project. And thank you for watching. I hope you to um, I'm hoping you'll be able to do greater works than this, more beautiful souvenirs and models than this. Thank you very much. See you in the next lecture.